Welcome to Goalie's Pip Academy. Well, hello, my globe trotters. Buckle in, we're about to take off on a wild ride. Forget your neighborhood, forget your city. Let's zoom out even more. Forget your country. Yeah, that's right, we're talking about the ginormous land masses we call continents. You know, those pieces of land where all the buildings, mountains, deserts, and forests live? Well, we've got seven of those bad boys. Volcanoes, check. The Rocky Mountains, check. The sandy beaches of Florida, check. These are a tiny fraction of all the incredible things you might find in North America alone. Now imagine there are seven different playgrounds just like this. Is your head spinning from the continents that are spinning in your head? Mine too. Moving on, Asia, look at you, hogging up all the land with your 17 million square miles. Asia is like the older brother who needs twice the closet space. China, Russia, Pakistan, Japan, they all call this continent home. And let's not forget Africa, our continent that loves to keep us guessing with its climate changes from north to south. You never quite know what to expect. It's got so many things going on. Deserts, rainforests, some very stylish animals, you name it. Next up, turn your heads towards South America. Did you know there are total 12 countries in South America? Our hardworking Amazon rainforest is here and it's making 20% of the world's oxygen. You'll also find the world's largest mountain range, the Andes, which is like the bouncer for South America. Quick brain teaser. How many countries are there in South America? A, 10, B, 12, C, 14, or D, 16? Yes, 12 is the right answer. Very well done. Okay, let's head down under for a second. Australia, you're not just a continent, you're also a country. Talk about multitasking. With venomous snakes and ferocious kangaroos, it's pretty much the Indiana Jones movie we're all living in. And let's give a chilly hello to Antarctica, home to cold, penguins, and more cold. Truth be told, it's a bit of a one-trick pony, unless, of course, you're a penguin. Now, if we fly back up to Europe, let's get a bit comfy. It's small but mighty and has a bunch of famous tourist attractions. Also, a fun fact, did you know that the Vatican City is smallest country in Europe? Think Eiffel Tower, Big Ben, the Roman Colosseum. Pop quiz. What's the smallest country in Europe? A, France, B, Vatican City, C, Germany, D, Spain. Did you say Vatican City? Yes, folks, right answer, see? Learning can be as fun as a roller coaster ride. We've zoomed through the seven continents, met some fantastic animals, and seen some breathtaking landscapes. For your next party trick, you now know that these continents only make about 30% of the Earth's surface. So there's a whole 70% we get to explore next. In conclusion, our planet is absolutely bonkers, and we wouldn't have it any other way, would we? Remember, today is a good day for a new adventure. You know how the world throws us curveballs? Well, we throw them back as globe balls. Ha! Huh, get it? This is another video brought to you by Goalie, the best kids tablet. Hey! You're watching Goalie's Pip Academy, where we teach about science, geography, history, everything about the whole world. If you want to watch these classes with no ads, no distractions, go to getgoalie.com.